Okay, uh, we're taking our journey today to Dover, PA. We want to see what's it all about. There was a big trial there uh, in Dover. Uh, there was a big situation about putting intelligent design in the classrooms with the book of pandas and people. And so we want to journey there to uh, Dover, PA, see what the town is all about, uh, and learn a little bit more about the trial at Dover. And now we're going down the street of Dover here, right by the school. It's just a quaint little town with little uh, buildings here, houses, shops. A very, uh, I would say, conservative. This area in York, a lot of Mennonites, Amish, and uh, conservative Christians. This gives you a little idea of what uh, Dover is. Dover Area High School. Yep. You got it there? You're taking pictures? Mm -hmm. well, I'm not taking pictures, I'm recording. And over here is the high school district. Okay, we finally made it here to Dover, and we're at the Dover Area High School, and this is uh, where they passed uh, uh, with the school board that they need to read this one-minute statement in uh, front of uh, the class, the biology class, and what I want to do is I'll just read that statement here uh, that they had. Uh, some uh, protested this, and now here's the one minute statement. It says, the Pennsylvania academic standards require students to learn about Darwin's theory of evolution and eventually to take a standardized test of which evolution is a part. Because Darwin's theory is a theory, it continues to be tested as a new evidence is discovered. The theory is not a fact. Gaps in the theory exist for which there is no evidence. The theory is defined as a well-tested explanation that unifies a broad range of observations. Intelligent design is an explanation of the origin of life that differs from Darwin's view. The reference book of pandas and people is available for students who might be interested in gaining an understanding of what the intelligent design actually involves. With respect to any theory, students are encouraged to keep an open mind. The school leaves the discussion of the origins of life to individual students and their families. As a standards-driven district, class instructions focus upon preparing students to achieve proficiency of standards-based assessments. Now that's the one-minute statement. Okay, uh, this is the book of Pandas and People. This is what was uh, donated, uh, and that is what they wanted uh, uh, to, uh, as a supplement uh, about intelligent design uh, for the classroom here at Dover Area High School. Now, the book that the, stu the teachers recommended was the biology book by Miller and Levine, and that was the book that the teachers recommended. And then the, the school board uh, had these donated and uh, recommend that they supplement this reference book of Pandas and People. Okay, now I just want to say a few more words. Um, 
the biology textbook by uh, Kenneth Miller and Levine. Now the interesting thing is, the irony I guess, is that uh, Kenneth Miller wrote another book and it's called Finding Darwin's God. And uh, Kenneth Miller believes in God. Uh, he's a Christian and uh, he's finding and searching for common ground between God and evolution. So he believes in God and wrote the biology book uh, with Levine and he's a prominent uh, noted speaker in writing on these things and about God. And I find that uh, I guess ironic that they uh, had to substitute with some other book uh, when they could have just gone to that one as well. Now in the trial we have uh, Michael Behe was one of the key uh, witnesses for uh, the defense and he wrote a book Darwin's uh, Black Box. Now the interesting thing here is that on uh, page uh, 5 I want to read something uh, for you. What uh, be he believes. It says, for the record, I have no reason to doubt that the universe is billions of years old that physicists say it is. Further, I find the idea of common descent, that all organisms share a common ancestor, fairly convincing and have no particular reason to doubt it. That's what Michael Behe says in his book, uh, and Darwin's Black Box. Now, for all, um, creationists are all for him, yet he believes in evolution. Uh, and when they publish his book for creationists, they leave those pages out where he talks about evolution. And so I find that another ironic uh, twist in the trial.